We're talking about voter fraud. We're talking about the comments that Donald Trump made yesterday in a coronavirus press conference talking about voter fraud. Many Republicans have put a lot of pullback into what Donald Trump said, and then he kind of stepped away from those comments and said he was just joking. Your thoughts on Barack Obama's comments? He spoke at John Lewis's funeral, as did George W. Bush, as did Bill Clinton. I thought it was actually a very, very good service, and Lewis deserved that because an honorable man who didn't always agree with uh, Republicans, but a good man who did a lot. I mean, the guy almost died for doing what was right for his people, and I I have a tremendous amount of respect for him. All right, let's take some phone calls at 257-5396. Phones are going crazy here. We'll try to get to as many as we can. Let's start off with James. James, you're first on the Vegas Take. What's going on? James, did we lose you? I believe we lost James. 257 <laughs> 257 5396 is the number to call if you want to be a part of the conversation. See, the problem is we only have one call screener. So when there like, you go. eight people call at the exact same time, he's got to answer all of them. Let's go to Paul. Paul is next on the Vegas take. Paul, what's up? Hey, how's it going, uh, Brian? You seem a little more calm that JD's not there today. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great observation, Paul. That's a great Probably observation. Probably a little better looking than JD. <laughs> uh, you know what? I'm glad you brought that up. I was going to say that. I didn't want to sound sexist, but Michelle is much more pleasant to look at than JD, well, Paul. Well, You're right. thank you. I, I appreciate that. Complimentary. It's, it's not sexist. It's complimentary. Okay, good. Okay, good. <laughs> What's on uh, your mind, Paul? Well, I think um, I think like uh, like Michelle said, he's just he's just putting it out there for discussion. He knows he's not going to stop an election or delay an election, and so does everybody else. But I think it's one way that no matter what he does with the coronavirus, he's uh, he's wrong. So that's, I think, his way of getting people to talk about something I, else. I have to disagree with you there. No matter what he does, he's wrong. I completely disagree with you. There are good people that uh, it, it, within his administration that are doing some good things. Uh, I'm not one of those people. If I think he does something right, I'm going to say it. I think he's done a lot of wrong, Paul. I want to give the president credit. I but want not him everybody's to... like you, Brian. You're not a Democrat. Well, that's you true. Listen, uh, Paul, so, I don't disagree with you that there are people not, out there. And you're also not a liberal. I agree. I, I, I Listen, so, I know that there are a lot of Democrats out there that they will never give the president credit for anything. But I am a, one of those people, Paul, that will say this. I am not going to give him any credit for the coronavirus. Why? We are the richest country in the world. We have more than a fourth of the cases. We are the epicenter of the, this world pandemic right here in this country. It's hard to give him credit for anything when it comes to the coronavirus. And I've bla- I, I blasted Steve Sisolak earlier in the week. I'm blasting all governors. I don't care if they have an R or a D next, next to their name. The government and the people that serve us have failed us. It starts with the top all the way down. 257-5396 is the number to call. Let's go to JJ. JJ, you're next on the Vegas Take. Good morning. What's up, JJ? Hey, you know, yeah, we do have uh, a figure that's in the White House. Uh, you know, the other day he was talking about on his uh, Corona speeches, and I'm thinking, well, gosh, he's saying some pretty decent stuff, and all of a sudden he sticks his foot in his mouth like he always does. Right. I have never seen a president see that is uh, backpedaled or just mm-hmm. absolutely lie about stuff like this guy does. But I would li- I would like to see him actually start doing good if he- if it's possible, and to you know sort of get people where okay he. How about bring change. people together, J Day J J. Oh, you better believe it. You, you know. Better- no, I I I hate to say this, but I call this a, is it's not the United States of America right now. It's the divided states of America right now. Agree. Unfortunately. Yep. And I don't like that because. Nobody yes, should. We do, we do live in one of the best countries in the world. Uh, it's not perfect, granted, but I don't think I'd want to live anywhere else. I agree. What I would like to see is get rid of the get rid of the Democrats, get rid of the Republicans, get rid of a part the party name. I like it. I like it. I'm down. And and have it and have it where. This is what I want to do for the country. This, this, and this. Yeah, we don't have to agree on everything, but why do we have to have parties like you're a Lakers fan or a Celtics fan? I just, uh, JJ, I couldn't agree with you more. Michelle, I say that on the show all the time. The two worst words in this country are Republican and Democrat. Why? Because I think too many people, not everybody, but too many people make decisions based on what's good for their party and not what's good for the country. A hundred percent. And as a woman and as a Republican who's actually run for office, and I know there's only two of us in the room, but I'm the only one who's done that. (laughs) I definitely haven't Uh, run for office. Yes. uh, (laughs) I I can tell you 
there there are definitely problems with the two party system, and I'm not saying that I want to go to a you know parliamentary system, have three, four, five, eight million parties. Right. Uh, but we often don't get the best qualified people because of that. And no there's question. So much at stake yep. with donors, uh, with everything, uh, following the party line, that we don't get the best leadership more often than not. No question. What you just said, I agree. Listen. I'm not voting for Donald Trump. I just recently said I'm voting for Joe Biden. You know how much I hate Donald Trump. It took me this long to finally say I'm voting for Joe Biden. It is sad that these are the two best candidates in in the country that we have. I have more respect for Joe Biden than Donald Trump. Joe Biden uh, is not a great candidate. Just like I no. said, Hillary Clinton was not a great candidate. No. Although I think Biden's a better candidate than Hillary Clinton. That might be a low bar. Mm. Uh, what Donald Trump, uh, the divisiveness and uh, the rhetoric... Uh, the reason why I despise Donald Trump, uh, you know, more, you know, than, than than many other people on the planet is because I just think he's a horrible person. Uh, what are we doing here, Sean? Do we have enough time to take one more call? All right. Why don't we go to Lewis? Lewis is next on the Vegas take. Lewis, I got about a minute for you. What's up, my friend? Hey, buddy. What's up? Uh, Jimmy Carter. You're pretty familiar with that guy. Well, yeah. Horrible <laughs> president. Horrible. Okay, perfect. He has a commission or had a commission on uh, voting by mail back in 2005. Yep. Vote by mail raises concerns about privacy as citizens voting at home may come under pressure to vote for a certain candidate, and it increases the risk of fraud. So, unfortunately, now insert the Democrats. Democrats are pushing for vote by mail. And we shouldn't have vote by mail because a Democrat. All right, let me pull back. About it. Let me pull and back a little President bit. President Obama talked. All right, very if it's not safe, divisive. Lewis, uh, if John you Lewis is zero. okay, Lewis, I hear you, my friend. But but let me just say this real quickly. If you have a bunch, and we're going to talk about Herman Cain coming up next segment, so this is a good segue. If you have a bunch of people in Herman Cain's position, people that are in their seventies that have health issues. And they can't go out to a polling center and vote for a bunch of different reasons. Maybe they don't want to die for one of them. Uh, I don't see anything wrong with this. I don't but see they can always it. absentee vote. If you are over the age of, I believe, 55, you are eligible for an absentee ballot at any time. So their right to vote has not been stifled. It, it ha- might not have been stifled, but I want to make it as easy as possible for people to vote. And for people that are even under the age of 55, as you know, there are people with underlying health conditions. There are people that have died from the virus, sadly, under the age of 55.